Bree, thank you. Well, giving teachers and school staff training to better protect themselves. Tonight at 11, reporter Jeremy Chen introduces us to the man responding to the rise in school violence by offering free lessons from his training center. Take a listen. The news of rising school violence certainly raises a lot of concerns for teachers and other educators while on campus, but a local jujitsu master hopes these classes can provide an avenue to diffuse potentially volatile situations. Well, it sort of bothers me because there's some basic elements that can be learned which could actually avoid getting injured. Lisa Kai is disheartened hearing reports of fights and teachers attacked at schools in the Clark County School District. This pushed some CCSD teachers and parents to ask about self-defense. As a martial arts teacher at Samurai Training Center in Henderson, Sakai and other instructors were asked to help. So I said, hey, um, sounds perfect for what we do, because jujitsu really um, controlling your opponent without having to injure them. The business is now offering free lessons to any school teacher or staff member. It involves learning techniques like defending against punches and chokes. I block. Again, being in the right distance from your uh, attacker once again, not being able to have them strike me, not being able to have my attacker control my position. Legally, teachers can't touch students without their consent. However, in an interview back in February, the Clark County Education Association says in extreme situations, action can be taken like self-defense. There is an NRS where educators are and staff are allowed to protect themselves. But again, you know, to what level? Sakai says the training for teachers is strictly self-defense. He says it's all about diffusing violent situations. It's that sense of confidence, that sense of being calm, peaceful, training your mind before the body, I think is very important. He says a handful of teachers that have attended have been surprised by the lessons. And like any good teacher, Sakai encourages them to continue learning. Come and check us out and realize that it's not what you may think it is. It's actually very, um, sensible what we do. It's Sakai says he plans to have at least one more class for teachers and staff. That will be at the Samurai Training Center on Saturday, May 28. Reporting in studio, I'm Jeremy Chen.